What is up guys, it's Headsets Modern Warfare here, Gamertag Banjo Chicken, and welcome back to another uh, JTAG video, another tutorial here. So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to tell if a, if a RTE tool has a KV stealer in it. Uh, so if you don't know what a KV stealer is, basically it takes your key vault right off your hard drive when you connect the tool to your um, console. It takes it off your console, puts it somewhere on your PC, and then uploads it to a server where other people can access it and just use it. And then it becomes shared and gets banned within minutes or hours. And yeah, it really, really, really rapidly uh, decreases the life of your key vault. So yeah, um, Lots of lots and lots of coders are doing this. They release free tools. Some a lot of the tools work perfectly the way they should. They all the mods that the tools say they're going to have, um, they do actually have and they do actually work. But it also uploads your key vault at the same time. Um, so it's pretty sneaky. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a a pretty a pretty decent method of detecting uh, a KV stealer um, inside a tool and how to also maybe get your own back on the people trying to steal the key vaults from you. So um, basically what we're using here is a hex editor and a network protocol analyzer. Uh, it doesn't have to be these two, you know, instead of hex editor Neo you could use HXD or whatever other hex editor you have, but hex editor Neo is a very good one for this the purpose we're using it for. Um, Wireshark is just a network protocol analyzer, a uh, pretty good one as well that's free, so I'll put, put both of these in the description. But you can use any other one uh, that you have uh, instead. And then I have a tool that has a KV stealer in it right here. Actually two tools that have KV stealers in them. So first of all, to detect whether a key vault, to, whether there's a KV stealer in a tool, what we want to do is create a fake key vault as a test because if you use a real key vault then even if you do find that it does have a KV stealer in it it's already too late by that time and the key vault's already uploaded. Now this RTE tool is really really obvious I mean you run it if it connects to the console you can see that you, it actually puts the key vault in the same folder as the application which is really really dumb and obvious that it's a KV stealer but for other tools they may not be quite that easy to find because it will put it's it will put the key vault somewhere else on your computer and it's only on your computer for a few seconds and then it deletes it once it's been uploaded to their server um, so yeah they might put it in a different location on your computer so you won't have time to find it before it gets deleted so it's not always super obvious that there's a KV stealer in a tool but with this one it is um, but this is kind of the only example I could get a hold of at the time so first of all what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up hex editor Neo and create a fake key vault really easy you just create a new hex editor um, document fill the first line full of zeros um, the hex values that is not the text string and then you want to click edit and change file size it will be called something like change bytes or modify bytes or something like that inside hxd um, i like hex editor neo because you can select you know kilobytes megabytes gigabytes or bytes so you know a, a key vault is 16 kilobytes so if you select kilobytes and you just type in 16 and click ok and it will just fill everything with zeros all nulled values and you can just save it save it to your desktop as kv.bin once it's saved you can close out of hex editor neo and you've got a kv on your desktop now that's 16 kilobytes and it's a bin file and it looks just like a key vault normally would but of course if you open it then it's literally just all zeros so that doesn't really matter though, a KV stealer is not going to be looking through all the information. All it's going to do is look for the file name and make sure it will just check for a KV.bin and it will try and upload it. Uh, which is another good reason why you should probably flash your key vault to your NAND as well. But uh, with this method it kind of uh, means you don't really have to take that extra precaution. So what we're going to do here is we're going to open up Xbox 360 Neighborhood and transfer this fake key vault onto our 
uh, hard drive. Obviously you're not going to be able to be on Xbox Live when you're using this because it's completely fake. Um, unless you have your key, your actual unbanned key vault flash to your NAND and then you just stick that one fake one on the hard drive. Um, but again, stealth services will probably look for the one on the hard drive and try to use that one. So, uh, But just for the purposes of checking to see if a tool has, an art, has a KV stealer in it, it is well worth uh, doing this. All right, so next we want to open up our network protocol analyzer. So we'll open up Wireshark here. You want to select whichever adapter is providing the computer with internet. Make sure that the computer, obviously, that you're you're running the network protocol analyzer on, is the same as is the same computer you're running the RTE tool on as well, of course. Okay, so my computer is connected through wireless. It's using the wireless network connection 3 adapter because I've got a wireless adapter on my computer that connects me to the router or router. Um, if you're connected through wired uh, with an ethernet cable to your router or router, then it would be local area connection that you would select. So I'll select wireless uh, network connection 3 and before, actually I'll start capture. And then inside the filter, you want to type in FTP and select FTP and click apply. What that's going to do is it's going to only check for, uh, it's only, only going to show packets that are using the FTP protocol, the file transfer protocol. Um, so it should be blank unless, of course, you're using FileZilla to, to transfer files over from your, your PC to your computer, uh, your PC to your Xbox. So first of all, let's go ahead and try a uh, tool that does not have a KV stealer in it so you can see what happens. So I'm going to use Apparition Net as an example. Obviously it doesn't have a KV stealer in it. And we're going to run this and we're going to see what happens in here. So Apparition Net requires connectivity to the console. Yep, connected to the console. Nothing, absolutely nothing for our file transfer protocol. And still waiting. Yep, there we go. Apparition Net has opened and there's nothing. Um, we can go ahead, launch the console manager, fetch console data, fetches the data from the console, so it's actively connected to the console and nothing showing up in Wireshark. So that's how you can tell, you know, if that happens that, yeah, there's not no KV stealer in the tool. Um, so let's go ahead and try the tool that does have a KV stealer in it now. So I'm gonna open up this gonna run it and watch what happens when I connect connect it to the console oh now look at that loads and loads of FTP protocols showed up there when I connected let's try this one as well no nope, nothing see the tool is designed not even to work at all it's literally only purpose is to steal the key vault and you can see right here what it's done um, you can see loads of FTP showing up so you know that it's definitely trying to take something from your console and upload it um, you can see here this is the destination so you can see it's taken it to public underscore HTML world class forward slash and then so that's the destination on the server where it's trying to store the key vault and it's renamed it. It's a dot bin, so it's obviously the key vault that it's taken. Um, but it's renamed it instead of kv dot bin. It's tried to make it look more legit, I suppose, by using my PC name plus the date plus um, user login dot bin. Um, but it's the key vault, obviously. Um, but the simple fact is, if if the tool was legit and didn't have a KV stealer in it, there would be no protocol for FTP in here. Um, and there is a lot. Um, but <laughs> here's the thing, here's how we can kind of get our own back on the people trying to steal our key vaults. With this method, you can see FTP is so unsecure. You've got user, so it gives you the username. It also gives you the password of the server. So you've got the username and the password to his server, plus you have the destination, the IP address uh, of the server that it's trying to upload the key vault to. With those three pieces of information, you can literally go on and access their server. You can you can log into their server and you can delete all the key vaults that are in there. You can upload loads of files and try and um, use up their data limit and just try and screw their server over um, as much as you can. And they totally deserve it for trying to steal your key vaults anyway. So if you don't have an FTP client, 
then you can go ahead and go on Google Chrome. Google Chrome lets you use FTP, but if you have FileZilla, use FileZilla because that is better. Um, type in FTP semicolon double slash and then the IP address which is you know 31.170.162.63 then another semicolon and type in the port now you need to know what the port is normally it's going to be 21 um, that's the normal port it would be 21 for FTP but it could be something different so just check with Wireshark down here where it says transmission control protocol it'll tell you the ports that are being used and you can see the destination port is 21 which is fine so we know that it's using port 21 but sometimes it may be using a different port but most of the time it would be using 21 because they know that that would be unblocked on your firewall by default normally so we'll go ahead and click enter see what we get here so it says authentication is required, so we can see that it is definitely an FTP server. And you can enter the username that's up there, and you can enter the password, Snoopy13, and click login. And obviously more FTP packets are going to show up now that I'm accessing this. But um, yeah, we've got access to their server. We're on their server. And you can't really do much on... Uh, Google Chrome in terms of FTP, you can I think you can delete the files. So um, if there's any KVs in there, you can delete them. Um, but file transfer protocol, if you use FileZilla for it, then you can upload other files and stuff to the server and try and use up their data limit and just try and screw them over. As you can see, it's not successfully uploaded the KV. Maybe some maybe it did and somebody's already taken it and deleted it. Um, but yeah, that's where it would have stored the key vault. But that is it guys, it's actually a really cool method of uh, detecting KV stealers and it's a pretty pretty decent method actually. So you can do that with pretty much any RTE tool. Um, there may be other ways of stealing key vaults other than using FTP, in which case this probably wouldn't work. But most of them, if not like 90% of them at least, use this method to upload your key vaults to... Um, their server they use they use FTP and now you can totally screw them over by finding out their username and password and their destination for their FTP server so anyway guys that is it thank you very much for watching go ahead and leave a like if you liked the video and find the information useful comment if you have any questions subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and I will see you guys next time